Rev up your engines! Today I'm going to talk about the five most reliable cars of 2018. And before I start talking about those five cars, realize that it's based on my personal experience as a mechanic about cars and research that I've done that's based on a study of 500 thousand vehicles so this isn't just some random thing that's made out of the blue now number five on the list is the toyota corolla they've sold millions of those things and they continue to be extremely reliable dependable vehicles they come in a range of models and hilariously enough for me because i like this old 2007 matrix they now have a Toyota Corolla hatchback and the hatchback to me looks exactly like a Toyota Matrix and anyways this old 7 is basically a Toyota Corolla with a different body stuck on it anyway even my venerable 94 Celica hey that's pretty much based on a Toyota Corolla it's got the same engine transmission Corollas are dependable cars they're comfy and they're even getting sporty my oldest son recently bought a new Toyota Corolla S the S really is a sporty car. He was even surprised at how fast it accelerated with even the CVT transmission. And strangely enough, he's even getting better gas mileage than the rating was, which surprised me because he kind of drives like a maniac. On the list is the Mazda MX-5, better known as the Miata. Personally, I like them best with the standard transmission. Then they're much more sporty to drive, but they are increasing the horsepower in them. They're increasing the horsepower from 155 to 181 horsepower, and that's pretty zippy for a light little car like the Miata. They've always been known for tight steering, they've really perfected the suspension on them, and they're quality built little sports cars. Because not often do the words reliable and sports cars go together, but it certainly does with the Miata, and it has over history. Heck, I've got a customer with one, he's a judge, and for fun, he races Miatas. They have circuits where these guys race Miatas against each other. They have various rules and they have to follow them and it's kind of fun racing. They go to the actual races. He's been to the Grand Prix track in Austin, Texas. It's uh, guys have a lot of fun with those things. Now number three on the list is the Toyota Prius Prime. These things get insane gas mileage. 55 miles per gallon in town. Yeah, they're backwards because they have regenerative electricity. But they have a range of 640 miles. And since they're aerodynamically designed so they get the best gas mileage, they also have very responsive handling. Now I know people say, Scotty, you're not a hybrid fan. Well, I personally am not. But I'm talking about people going out buying a brand new car and seeing does that car have quality in it and strangely enough number two on the list is the toyota prius c two priuses on the top five they are well built i give them that now the c isn't a plug-in hybrid like the prius prime is so it costs quite a bit less and it still gets good gas mileage oh yes the toyota c is a little more of a rattlier car to drive around in because it's smaller than the other one it's more of a subcompact car but for a subcompact car it's really well built toyota prius c has a pretty big carrying capacity for it you can put a lot of cargo in that thing it is a subcompact car there's no arguing that but it's probably the best built subcompact car being the most affordable and getting the best gas mileage of any non-plug-in hybrid Makes the Prius C a good bargain for somebody who's looking for a hybrid car. And here's the moment you've been waiting for. Da -da -da. The most reliable car 2018 is the Lexus GX. Now we are talking the most reliable here. We're not talking about gas mileage <laughs> compared to the Prius. Oh, these things are absolute gas hogs. They're giant vehicles that have big V8 engines in them and get pretty low gas mileage. It traded at 15 miles per gallon in a city and 18 on a highway. And you're only gonna get that if you drive conservatively. If you drive really hard in the city, I got customers of those things, uh, they're getting closer to 10 miles a gallon in the city. But they're the number one in reliability. They're fast, they're smooth, and they can tow 6,500 pounds if you really want to. And of course they got tons of space inside. There's a lot of things that have space inside, but let me tell you, a lot of those big old SUVs, woo, over time, they are not reliable like a Lexus or Toyota really, it's the same company. And judging from my experience of working on these things for decades, 
hey this may be 2018 i'm talking about but i can just about guarantee you that you bought one it's going to last for a long time i got customers driving lexus suvs around that have 300,000 miles and they're still running pretty much trouble free with very little maintenance unlike some like Cadillac their digital display systems seem to work forever they don't break down after a few years and cost a fortune to repair they've got legendary Toyota quality behind them now yeah you're paying between 52 and 63 thousand dollars for the top fully loaded GX but for that kind of money at least you're getting quality and quality that should last over a long period of time unlike a lot of the expensive SUVs they got all kinds of stuff loaded some of them have more room some of them are faster but in the long run you're better off buying a Lexus if you want to keep your car for a really long time now if you're really hooked on the styling of a BMW or a Porsche SUV or even a Lamborghini SUV hey my advice if you want to get it out of your system lease it and then when you're done you give it in <laughs> and you won't have to deal with repairs this is my wife's 17 year old Lexus that I paid four thousand dollars for does it look like a 17 year old car it doesn't ride like a 17 year old car it is smooth as silk you want to keep a vehicle forever pick the right one in the first place so now you know the top five reliable cars of 2018 if you're in the market for one now you know what's going to be reliable so if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos remember to ring that bell